Hello and welcome. We are discussing about setting step of AWS RDS instance creation. This setting step is really very important because this is related to security of your database. What I am doing right now, I am going to create one database. I want you to find out the setting step and then we are going to discuss about it. So, right now I am inside my AWS RDS console and I am going to database and going to click on create database. First of all, I am going to select my database engine. I want my SQL. Now, when you scroll down here, you will get this setting step. DB cluster setting identifier and all this. We already discussed about it. We also discuss about master username. Now, the main point is we need to understand credentials management. Now, we have two options for credential management. One known as self-manage. We already discussed this about self-managed password yesterday. And you can watch this video. Even I recommend you to watch this video first. Then watch this because this will provide you clear understanding about these two options. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about managed in AWS secret manager option and this option we have here. So, let's start. Hello everyone, I am sure you guys are enjoying our AWS series a lot. But just think, if you get a chance to learn live AWS Certified Security Speciality from our expert Bhave Shatara, how enjoyable it is. Yes, we are going to start our batch from 14th October. All the details are available in description. Make sure seats are limited available, so please do registration as soon as possible. Till you have any queries, you can contact me on my personal number. Keep learning, keep practicing. Thank you. First of all, we are going to start with mind map. The first is introduction. You allow AWS Secrets Manager to handle the management of master credentials automatically. AWS securely stores the credentials and you can choose to have them automatically rotated on schedule. Automatic rotation. Secret manager can automatically rotate the credentials on a, on a schedule that you define. And when the credentials are rotated, rotated, secret manager automatically updates the password in RDS. Now, let me explain you the whole process. First of all, AWS Secrets Manager is another AWS service. Now, Secrets Manager is actually used to store credentials. Now, what we are doing, instead of managing our database password manually, we are using tool to manage this username and password. Definitely, if you are using tool, the process will be automatic. We have benefit to rotate credentials to make it very secure. Using AWS Secret Manager is actually best practice because when you are using AWS Secrets Manager, your username and password will be stored inside AWS Secrets Manager service, which is really very good. In the previous video, I already explained you about self-managed password, like self-managed password management. If you understand this video, you will find out that we use DB test file and all the credentials stored inside this DB test file. It means if you are going to choose self-manage option, you have to store your database credentials inside your web server. We have created one file DB test.php and all the credential was there in this particular file which is actually very dangerous because your front-end web server is connected with the internet. Anybody can access it over the internet and you have your password and username and password of your database stored inside this. But here, if you are going to use a, credential, a secrets manager, the database username and password will be stored inside 
credit inside secrets manager it means you do not need to store your database username and password inside your web server which is actually better option and nobody can access secrets manager directly because there is a authentication right now here i have one database let's go to this database this is my db now if you go inside this database here you will find out that i am actually using secrets manager to store credentials of this particular database now here when you select this secrets manager option if you go to the secrets manager you will find out one secrets which is actually created by me this is my secrets which is actually managing my specific database and look at this this is arn of my database amazon resource name and this is my db so you can find out that okay we have one secrets which is actually managing my rds secrets now when you go inside this you will also find out the secret value so this is actually my database username and password it is stored inside secrets manager not inside web server and let me tell you you cannot access this directly okay you must have permission in order to access this username and password we will learn about secrets manager in upcoming days in the security sections but right now i just want you to understand the whole process okay now i have web server as well so here i have web server now if i am going to access my web server okay here we have one demo application running on web server now whenever i am going to store any record let's say that if i am going to the add name rahul and testing db when we do click on submit i am find out, finding out that okay my records is actually stored and you can also go to the database server and you can find out this so if i am going to see here i have this record rahul and it is a testing db so everything is working right now clearly fine now i want you to understand the whole flow so what is actually happening here here user will open website from web server now web server will go to the rds to store this record now when it will go to the amazon rds mysql database it will not allow to store this record without username and password authentication is required now here my web server don't have any username password store so what is actually happening here sorry sorry i know that you want to watch full video but full video is now not available on youtube if you want to watch full video i want you to go to our website when you will go to our website you will find out our course 100 days youtube challenge i want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from india if you are from outside of india you just need to pay 7 us dollar once you will enroll to this course you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal you are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos we are going to upload another 120 videos as well so there will be total 240 videos i hope we are going to meet inside the class thank you very much